effect. But now we have MM Leo versus Mellow, and I think the fact that these Leo two, and Mellow. I think I think the name is funny. That is it, very we fun. Got, we got some funny similar names. MM Leo. Was that done uh, intentionally? I mean, obviously this is like a, a round three, round four match, so <laughs> it's it's obviously get, these guys weren't paired against each other right off the get go. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if they put them on stream because they have similar names and they're both <laughs> relatively uh, well placing players. So MM Leo uh, got second last week. Oh, he did? Yeah, he got oh, second shoot. last week. I think running exclusively Meat Gunner with wow. the uh, Laser Blaze, Stealth Burst, Arm Rocket, Bomb Drop moveset. So that got is it. Two, yeah. two, three, two. Now, yeah, you know me, Gunner. No, I know. Feel me, free to tell me anything because I do not know the Mies that well. I just, <laughs> I just pick the moves I think look cool. I don't know which ones are like objectively the best with other attacks or anything like that. But I did know that. Oh, these players are reversed. <laughs> but uh, MMLL playing Mega Man, his original main in Smash Four. All I right, there we go. Well. We are so, going. Yeah, we're going to see an explosive match here, folks. So I do think it's interesting that Leo is going for the Mega Man pick. I know it's a character he's probably more comfortable with overall. For but, sure. Uh, he gonna can definitely do something about Snake using her uh, magnet or uh, absorbing vortex down special. But that's not what we have here. No, we what, got the Mega Man pick. What I think is interesting about uh, most Snake matches in general is that whenever you fight a Snake, it's almost like you're playing a different game. You kind of have to play Snake's game because Snake is all about setting up traps and just like versus other zoners who kind of push you away. Snake's all about saying, this is my chunk of the stage. This is the part I'm going to play in. You never want to get caught in uh, within like a certain bubble of playing against Snake. Definitely. The snake, snake is going to be <laughs> across the stage for as long as possible until he decides to scrap a little bit with you. That's <laughs> true. Like, fighting a snake is different than fighting most other zoner characters, which is fascinating to watch to see how they set up their traps, but I also acknowledge pretty obnoxious to play against. Definitely. And you know what? I definitely see... I, I'm seeing the mindset here for Leo is because Mega Man can just throw out projectiles a lot more often than Gunner can. Uh, and he can, oh. catch, he can catch that high recovery much easier using Rush, as displayed right there. It's so fascinating, because I, I was going to go on to say Snake's one of the characters who can actually, usually, recover high and be safe. But I guess Mega Man was just ready to catch him on it. Ooh, a Snake ready to catch Mega Man, though. Oh, wow! Well, Threw the Metal Blade at the rocket just to go ahead and throw it off its course. I love to see it. On top of just disrupting Mello's <laughs> ability to edge guard him. Or uh, ledge trap, rather. For sure. I love it. Yeah, now now it's Mega Man. He's putting up the pressure. So Leo just opting for these Crash Bombers, Metal Blades, and Lemons. That's, uh, that's, Meg that's Mega Man's Mega Man. just toolkit, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's Man. just like, here, I got to just, just throw whatever I can at you. And Melo not, not exactly... It doesn't seem like he's sure what he has to do to counterplay this. Yeah, because well, it's, it's tough, right? Because usually Snake doesn't mind trading. Because if his grenade goes off, the grenade's usually not what's going to get the kill. Yeah. So he doesn't mind getting himself hurt as long as he gets percentage on you. MM Leo looks like he's just trying to yeah, create that's... as much pressure as possible. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that, that's a kill. Uh, MM Leo feels like if he just throws enough projectiles at Snake, he'll just hurt himself enough times with the grenades going off and all the explosions going off that he can just eventually go in for the kill later. MM Leo does not look like he's in a rush to win this match. He's just going to play it as far away as he can. He's going to play it slow because at the end of the day, Melo's going to have to approach more because he's just not getting the damage output he normally would get. Yeah, the, the more Melo stays in place and holds down his shield, the more it, it depletes. And if the grenades are going off on top of that, he's probably just going to set himself up for his own shield break, which might be what MM Leo is going for. But, you know, right now, Melo doing a much better job Starting to mix in some approaches. But now he's gonna have to recover. And Leo not trying to Oof. not really challenging it there. Oh. That dash grab. The I one time MM Leo stopped backing off is the time it got him. Alright. We have an even game. A good ledge drop punch, or ledge get up punish rather. We got the blue bomber versus the most bombastic character in the game. It is pretty nutty that these characters are as even as they are. Although Snake is taking a pretty dominating lead, but if it's anything like the first stock, MM Leo can just come back in and even things up in a matter of seconds. 
Yeah, sa same old tactic, just throw out all the projectiles until, <laughs> until one of them's ready to swoop in and go for the kill. Despite now at a deficit, uh, he's still sticking to his game plan, which a lot of people, you know, at this rate, or at this time in the battle, they would be starting to panic a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there's still three minutes on the clock, so I, I think timeout is the least of his worries. Ooh. Oof, yeah. I, you don't want to be that close to Snake holding shield, but... It's working. Right. Running in for the fair. Uh oh. Yeah, All right, careful. he's catching him. Yeah, Snake's trying to find an opening because, like I said earlier, it's not the grenades that are going to kill. Snake has to go in and go for a kick, or he has to use one of his other special attacks to try and finally secure that stock. Mega Man also... Oh, yeah, just like that. Mega Man's in a similar boat, though. He also... He's not probably not going to kill with the Crash Bomber. He needs to go in and go for an attack, too, to secure the kill. That's the thing with these zoners, is that they're great at zoning, but getting the kill, they got to go in, Usually got to go in for it. Very funny that he just opted to use... Uh, Nikita there, yeah. but maybe he was aware of the timer, thinking if, because uh, yeah, he was on top of C4. Right. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how long. Oh, he's opting for the meat gunner now, but he's not going to use the magnet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is still the bomb drop set. If it's, if it's V1, does that mean it's 1-1-1-1? One, 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 one? No, I don't. He doesn't name it properly. Oh, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I, don't know. I guess when you're a high-ranking enough player here, <laughs> you can get away with that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the 2-2-3-2 two, two, two move set. 2-2-3-2? Two, two, two? Okay. Yeah, there's the two. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> know the attacks better than I do. Down special two, side special two, and he's gonna be using arm rockets. So. Okay, got it. So All right. you remember what he was doing last game? Yeah. Now imagine that, except way more annoying. Oh, because now he's got three <laughs> special moves that do it rather than two. Got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could have thrown the Leaf Tornado at Snake, but like, I don't think it was going to do anything. At least Mega Man has some approach options. Me Gunner? Uh, no. Yeah, so <laughs> how, how do you kill with Me Gunner? Uh, <laughs> you, you kill with back air eventually. But. Got it. Okay, understood. Oh my god, he <laughs> no, jumped straight into it. It's fine. No. <laughs> it's early enough in the game, he can take a few hits. You don't want to take a few hits, but if he needs to, he can take a couple. Now, my other question, and uh, if you don't know the answer to this, it's fine. Is, is Me Gunner heavier than Mega Man? Uh, Me Gunner is the same weight as... Uh, pretty, actually, I think she's around the same weight. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Melo doing... Oh, my God. Because I, I know the Me Gunner shares similarities to Samus, and Samus, I believe, technically counts as a heavyweight. So if Me Gunner counts as a heavyweight as well, that is awesome. Yeah, she's, she's heavier than the other ones. Okay. So 104, I believe. Got it. But right now, it, right now, Leo is just cornered. <laughs> this is, this is the, they're just going to litter the stage with explosives, and I am here for it. Oof. Yeah. Yep, he caught him. Yeah, I feel like he might have been better aiming for ledge. Mm -hmm. Recovering well. That, oh, all right. It's even already. Punishing the, the down special placement with her side special there. Dude, this is my kind of match. Enough explosions, someone's... <laughs> and after enough explosions, someone's just going to come out on top and I'm like, all right, I guess that character wins. And there's a lot of bright colors on the screen right now. I like it. <laughs> but it's matches like these that are the reason that each of these games needs to have an epilepsy warning at the beginning. Yeah, that, that forward smash, not the best option. He should have probably went for a throw. Whew. Snake's grenade placement is pretty on point. I got to give him some credit. He's getting him on the platforms. He's still kind of flowing through the stage. Yeah, Melo doing a very good job with, like, pulling out Nade, where to leave it. Yeah, he seems a bit more confident in this match than he did in the previous match, because he's moving around a lot more now. And to his credit, uh, MM Leo is not kind of locking him to one corner anymore. Yeah. But it really is a different type of match than the previous one, despite the fact that they are both Ooh. playing very defensive, defensively oriented characters. Yeah, you can, you can see right now that Melo is just placing all these little traps and spots that Leo's going to want to sit Ooh. at. And then he just has himself ready for when Leo wants to commit to some sort of inner escape option. Yeah, the tables have turned. Now MM Leo's the one caught in the corner. Although he got out of it, uh, or it looks like he got out of it. Yikes. Oh my god. All right. So the fact that he has those little bombs that he's spitting out means that he doesn't have the absorb attack or reflector, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So he, he opts for this. this uh, he, he's all out zoner. He's, he's a fellow <laughs> zone. Yeah. Got it. But you know, he finally winning that up, that yeah. battle of explosives. Yeah, he needs to be careful because Snake is still just going and dash attack him or up tilt him and probably get the kill. And, and as you just saw there, he uses oh. the down special so he can perform a grab and he approaches with it. Gotcha. Uh, but it didn't quite matter because it led to him getting exploded. I mean, and this is a very close game. Yeah, I, I, look. 
MM Leo's in the lead, but Mello held that first stock for a pretty long time, so he can easily make a comeback. It's just going to come down to who's going to land the more powerful explosion first. Because okay. look, they're, they're both throwing out their most basic of explosives. Neither one of those are going to kill. So who's going to go for the kill move first? That's what it's going to come down to. Right now, a kill move's not going to kill, most likely. So I think they're, all, they're still just trying to rack up damage. Yeah, see, that was a good use of arm rocket there with the bomb. Denying that approach space if he decided to run into it. Gotcha. I don't think a, a dash attack would have minded because Snake is invincible to start up there, but... Right. And then while almost gun dashing or using forward air to push himself back into that C4, but nice restraint. <laughs> yeah, see, look, you see how... You see how Mello is just using it because he thinks that Leo's going to land on top of it? Ah. Uh, Leo doing a good job woo. preventing that from happening to him. It's weird. MM Leo feels like he's actually better when he's off stage. Oh, he's, he, boy. He, he does he not mind. Oh, that he caught him. Yeah. All right. We're going to a game three. Yeah, see, Mello oh, yeah, see, not, not being aware that you don't want to press anything if you're across the screen because she can still kill you really easily with that side special. You guys can see now that the venue's starting to fill up, and now all of a sudden it's th these matches have everyone's attention. They're just seeing all these explosions going all over the place. <laughs> Are we going to go back to PS2, though? That's the question. Yeah, that, is, that is a good question. I don't think PS2 is doing anything bad for Melo no. either. It's, f it's fun to play with some platforms, I acknowledge. I don't think they want to go to, like, an FD or maybe maybe Town and City. I think PS2 is probably the safe pick. If uh, anything, maybe, maybe. Well, well Battlefield, all right, let's do it. Battlefield can be a double-edged sword because if you're not super conscious about that side special, uh, on brighter stages, that thing is practically inv invisible. Got it. So uh, he's going to have to be very conscious about it when she's in position. Or doing the animation to throw it out. I acknowledge that on Battlefield, it's easier to juggle your opponents. You, you, use, the pla you use the platforms to chase better. Uh, so it can be difficult. If someone gets knocked into the air, it could be difficult for them to land versus on Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, but I, I I don't know if that's why they picked the stage. I think they just picked the stage so they have more more, more land to just jump around and throw their explosions all over the place. <laughs> okay, very interesting situation with the down special there, leading into a nair. Whoa. I cannot believe this is how the match is going, and yet I am not upset about it at all. I, I like, I love this. Just These are two guys that are not willing to give an inch. Right. Oh, the bomb drop. Oh no, not hitting. Dude, the look, look at all this pressure. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my god, yeah. All and right. He pressed something and he died for it. You don't do that versus this. Moveset. Versus me, Gutter. Got no, it. Not versus this move set. It's not safe. This is completely I, 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 different. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what to say. I just, <laughs> they're just littering the stage. Yeah, this set looking very different from it started in game one. Ooh, trying to catch a roll in. Not quite getting it. Oh, oh using the jump instead of the, any other get up option. Oh, no, not quite getting it with the up tilt. All right. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's throwing out options, but none of them are really safe on shield. <laughs> so MM Leo is just catching all of it. Oh, using up tilt instead of a grab. Ooh. Oh, landing into the bomb drop. That's actually another thing, isn't it? Isn't it like if you perfect shield a projectile, oh. it's actually sometimes disadvantageous to you, specifically against Snake? Oh, that's just in general. Okay. Uh, perfect shielding or uh, parrying, people like to call it, yeah. isn't always the best option sometimes. Understood. I thought I recall something like specifically Snake's attacks, if you perfect shield them or parry them, it actually leaves you vulnerable versus <laughs> versus the opponent. God, it, <laughs> every time I see someone throw something across the stage and think it's fine and then they explode, it's, it's very funny. Yeah, MM Leo, despite being in the lead, he's still being a bit cautious and, you know, rightfully so. He does not need to go in and go for something risky. He, he's confidently shown that he can play across the stage and be just fine. Oh my god, this is the match. This is, and this is what, we've, this is what we're playing This now. is some tactical warfare. That shield's very small. Oh, I think he tried to go for a dash attack. All right, good use of the jump to not get hit by the stealth burst. All right, but me Gunner also has a plethora of moves that hit a buffer. That kill. So yeah, MM Leo's not even not even trying to catch the the landing. He's just he's just maintaining his distance. Yeah. All right, Snake makes it back onto the stage. What's the option? All right, I think okay. anything Gunner can do except Nair and Fair will kill. Yeah. So be mindful of that. Wow. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see if Snake so, can get the stock off. All right, up tilt. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this stage pick not doing, not doing for Melo like he thought it would. Nah, I guess not. Uh, but he's not out just yet, man. I, I think, <laughs> it, it, you know, as soon as he gets that one opening, he, get, he gets a grab or something, he might take the stock. As long as he has positioning for it, too. You know? All right, yeah, that's, that's what this type of matchup is all about, right? Is perfect positioning. Yeah. I feel like Melo could be trying to... Oh, no. Oh, well, okay. Oh, this might actually not be good for MM Leo. Uh, no, he's, he's fine. He used the Nikita a bit too early there. I, th I think what I'm seeing right now is that Melo is trying to play this explosive game. He just yeah. wants he wants to outdo him in the, in the zoning right now. Right. But Gunner just has better tools to disrupt his his game, right? Yeah, and, and I think what Melo is trying to do, I figure he doesn't care if he takes a little bit of damage. He's just trying to get in. Yeah. He's 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 just trying to like, you know, play a game of Toho and dodge all these projectiles and get in until he can land that one attack. Oh, that up smash with its oh range. is that it? Yeah. That should kill, yeah. Catches them with the whole thing. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, all right. Taking it. Two one after the counter pick to me, Gunner. I feel like that match would hurt my.